Hello everyone. Myself Faru Ilarasi, Assistant Professor in School of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now I discuss about corporate accounting, equity shares. Equity shares means an equity shares normally known as ordinary shares in a part of ownership uh, when each member is a fraction owners and initial the maximum entrepreneurial liabilities related to a trading concern. Uh, types of shareholders if any organization process the rights of vote features of equity shares equity share capital remains with the company it is given back only when the company is closed equity shareholders process voting rights and select the company's management the dividend rate of equity capital relies upon the obtainability of the capital however there is no fixed rate of dividend on the equity capital types of share capital shareholders uh, th there are two types of shares one is preference shares another one is equity shares preference shares are also part of the share capital of the company ha holders of such shares get preference in dividend payments and also the time of liquidations equity shares equity shares are the most common types of shares that are offered by companies also called ordinary shares equity shares for the bulk of share capital of the company it is called equity shares types of share capital first one authorized capital it is the maximum capital that the company can raise by the way of issue of shares it is also called as a nominal or registered capital issued capital it is the part of authorized capital which is issued to the public for subscription next subscription capital it is the part of shares issued capital which is the purchased by the public called up capital it is part of capital with Regarding to the calls have been made, paid up capital. It is the part of the subscribed capital for which call money shareholders have yeah, actually paid. Issue of shares. There are three types of issue of shares. First one is shares of par, issue of shares at par, issue of shares at premium, issue at a discount, issue of shares at par, issue of shares for par. Uh, means issued that the shares of our amount equal to the face value of shares it is the issue of shares at par value and next shares at premium it's a company issued that the shares at a price more than it is face value the shares are said to have been issued at premium next one share issue at a discount if the buyers of shares is secured to the pay less than the face value of the shares then the shares is said to be issued or sold at the discount next one subscription of shares over subscription and under subscription over subscription means situations where a company receive more applications from the shares buys the number of shares made available for the public under subscription of shares under subscription of shares a number of shares supplied by the public is less than shares that are issued by the company it is called under subscription of shares next calls in arrears and calls in advance a uh, calls in arrears means if any amount that is called in respect of the shares is not paid before or on that date of fixed or payment that is called calls in arrears next calls in advance uh, the money received by a company in excess of the has been called up it is calls in advance next one for futures of shares under reissue of shares for futures of shares it means cancellations of shares by the company uh, if shareholders fails to pay any call money or shares made by the company the shares may be cancelled by the company is called the for futures of shares next one reissue of shares 
for future shares can be reissued at the price less than face value it should not be less than the called up value the loss of reissue of her future share is debited to the share for futures account and if there are any balance in the for futures account will be an capital profit and should be transferred to the capital reserve thank you